singer and presenter Jamelia grew up in a small town where trying to buy makeup for black skin was impossible. But surely, years later, retailers must have addressed the issue. You'd have thought mm. so. Uh, Jamelia went to find out. As a young girl growing up in a small town in Birmingham, I always found it very difficult to find makeup to match my skin tone. Now, if you were lighter skinned, you had a variety of choice, but not so much if you had dark skin like mine. And almost 20 years later, it's still not easy. I spoke to some women at a hair salon in London who were keen to voice their opinions on the issue. So Rita, how difficult would you say it is to find makeup for your complexion? I feel like they feel like everyone's at the same tone, but yeah. I feel like my tone's a bit odd as well. So mm. trying to find the right foundation in a local store is yeah. literally near enough impossible. Yeah. I know that there's times I go and I see people with baskets of literally just full of foundation and concealer, and I'm just like, mm. I cannot do that. <laughs> it's not fair that I would have to go into like Mac and just buy something that's like 25 mm. pounds. And, and the thing is as well, it's like we have to travel so far even to get the expensive shades. Even celebrities suffer from the same problem. Black models such as Laomi Anderson, who's worked with Victoria's Secret, Marc Jacobs and Tom Ford, just to name a few, have criticised some makeup artists for being unprepared to work with black or ethnic skin tones. To find out more about the issue, I met up with award-winning makeup artist Joy Adenuga. I cannot explain how frustrated I get when I sit in a makeup artist's chair and they just haven't got a clue or they haven't got my shade. It's quite expensive to mm -hmm. carry every single shade in your kit. After I came out of uh, makeup school, I went to Marc, Nars, Estee Lauder, Chanel yeah. and well, the prices. I was yeah. like, whoa. You know, <laughs> so course. I took myself to like Boots Superdrug yes. and uh -huh. I was like, yay, you know, uh -huh. budget friendly. Yes. Then I saw the limited shades. Oh, whoa. Like some brands had like just uh -huh. six shades. Wow. And that was it. So. As a makeup artist, what do you think needs to be done by the industry? Cater to more people. Mm. Do your research. At the end of the day, you're not giving out the product for free. Absolutely. They're being yeah. bought, so you're yes. going to make money. It's not a charity <laughs> or anything. You're yes. going to make money. I visited two of the major health and beauty brands on the high street to find out just how well they cater for black skin tones. Now, the good news is this one matches my skin tone. If you're any darker than me, though, no such luck. And I was actually advised that this one would magically match my skin tone. Let's see, shall we? Oh, yeah. Oh, my gosh. It is. It's magic. <laughs> what do you think? Exactly. Now, these are the darkest shades I could find. They don't have a specific black range. And even the darkest that they have does not match my skin tone. Now, this is a very common theme amongst black women. We have to travel to the city centres to find makeup that will match our skin tones, and we'll probably end up paying double. I contacted Boots and they told me that they were disappointed with my findings. They said, whilst our smaller stores may offer a slightly reduced range, all products are available on our website, so they can be accessed across the UK. Next, I went to speak to a super drug representative to ask about my findings. Now, we visited one of your smaller stores and they basically told us that they don't stock makeup for black people. What's the reason behind that? <laughs> right, that's not really the sort of um, language that we would ever encourage okay. because we, all of our shades yes. are available through Order and Collect. Okay. In small stores, you get small stands. We are constrained by size of fixture, which is okay. why we're looking to do drop-in fixtures, which are purely foundation, concealer and powders. Why do you think the large stores don't cater for black and ethnic skin tones in the same way they cater for Caucasian skin tones? I think that... Brands and big companies in particular have been very focused on a very narrow bandwidth of, of uh, shade offering. So um, it's taken a lot of persuasion and a lot of negotiation to make them actually think about things very, very differently. And it's not always about making sure that every shade is the best seller. It's about being credible yes. and about offering something for every woman out there. Part of Superdrug's campaign of Shades of Beauty has been about really readdressing that and making sure that we make a big change. So there you have it. Black skin tones are being catered for and the ranges are available but just not on our local high streets. The issue isn't just black and white. There are many different shades, just like our skin tones. That's Absolutely. fascinating, isn't it? Isn't just it? really taken by surprise with that. There you go. All right, now there's only five more Tuesdays to go until Christmas.